you got hello you guys and we are here with our sixth speaker of today for the inspirational women in literature media and journalism awards we have miss linda plunkett and she's going to introduce herself and then tell us a little bit about her inspirational story miss plunkett this the floor is all yours thank you so much um my story really begins about six years ago when out of the blue, I was diagnosed with a brain tumor the size of a tennis ball in my frontal lobe. And I was in utter shock because at the time I was 59, I was healthy, no health issues. I mean, really no blood pressure, high blood pressure, no cholesterol, nothing that would indicate that there's something wrong. People say, well, did you notice anything different? Honestly, I didn't, but people around me started to notice that my behavior was different. So when I went to the doctor, the doctor said, oh, let's go get an MRI, just in case have an MRI. So I had the MRI and lo and behold, I had a large tennis ball sized tumor in my frontal lobe, which uh, thank God it was not cancerous, but on the other side of that, I was having seizures. Unfortunately, a seizure can kill you. So as a result of that, I was scheduled to have immediate surgery and um, during that surgery, it turned out to be almost an eight-hour surgery. There were complications and problems, and um, I came out of the surgery not doing very well. When I say that, I had difficulty be really thinking, forming my thoughts, speaking. I could not walk. And about 10 days later, I had what I consider a near-death experience. And I knew that I was dying. I could feel my spirit leaving my body and at the front door ready to leave when all of a sudden this hand, which I believe was the hand of God, came out and pulled me back into my body. And there I was, Lord, I'm back. And I know you're in my life again because there was a short period of time I had felt that he left me. And I know sometimes other people have told me they've gone through situations. I felt God was not there. And until this happened, though, I had always felt I had a close walk with God. But um, to continue the story, um, it was a very slow recovery. It took me months to learn how to walk. And as I really neared the end of my recovery period, eight months later, I thought I was doing better. Although I, one morning I woke up, I had pain all over my body and I couldn't sleep anymore. Well, I tell you all this to tell you that although I went through a really hard time, really the, the overall period was probably, I would say two years that I wasn't really sure if I was going to get better. I had a lot of pain, I had a lot of suffering, but I want to tell you that through this period of time, God was faithful when I cried out to him. At one point he sent me an angel. There were dreams that literally came true and I can't explain this because these were new events to me. Yes, I had faith in God, but these type of supernatural things did not routinely happen to me. As a result of my experience, my recovery, God allowed me to write Supernatural Rescue, which was a book that was published in 2016. And honestly, um, I never wrote a book. Um, I never thought I would write this type of a book, obviously, but God healed me. And as I received God's healing physically, really emotionally, spiritually, in so many ways, this, this interview is a little too short for me to really explain the whole story, but God was very faithful to me. And through the suffering, through the pain, through the long, long recovery, God did restore my counseling practice. I've been a counselor, Christian counselor for 15 years. Um, after a certain medical clinic said, there's nothing we can do to help you. My brain was really messed up. God did give me the healing. Um, he's allowed me to go back to ballroom dancing, which is a hobby that I really enjoy. And I actually do competitions. Last summer, I received an inspirational award for inspiring other people. And so I am grateful that I'm alive because now I feel really my whole goal is to encourage other people. I encourage people through my counseling practice, but now I encourage people through speaking, through teaching, through one-to-one -one correspondence, and hopefully writing more books. Uh, I've gotten really good reviews from Supernatural Rescue. Again, I give the glory and honor to God. He allowed me to do this, but my long-term plan is to use every day to honor and glorify him 
and to encourage other people who are also going through difficult times. So if you happen to be listening to this and you're one of those people, I would just urge you, do not give up the faith. Do not give up. The times are hard. I understand. I've been through it myself, but I would encourage you to seek positive people around you to also um, don't hesitate to get second opinions. Sometimes doctors, they know from their own training a certain thing, but other doctors may know more. Or you may be able to go find books. In my case, I found books that encouraged me that maybe there was a way that I could get better after a major medical clinic said, there's nothing we can do for you. So um, I, I do want to encourage you with God, all things are possible. He loves you. He has a plan for your life. And so don't give up. Don't give up. Um, there, there is a way with him and he, he does love you. and He does have a positive plan. So I would just encourage you to move forward today. And um, if, you, if you would like to get a copy of my book, Supernatural Rescue is available through Barnes & Noble, Amazon, or you can email me at Hope for Hurting, that's H-O-P-E-F-O-R-H-U-R-T-I-N-G at AOL.com. I'd be happy to send you a book also. If you need a speaker for your group, um, I, I, do, um, I run a nonprofit. I'm not seeking contributions, but I would tell you that I will speak for groups. If I can cover expenses, I do not charge a fee for my speaking. I just really want to cover my expenses and to continue my ministry. But I want to just thank the ladies so much for having me on the show. And it's such an honor um, to be able to speak for this program, but also it, it's an honor. I feel very honored by the award that they're giving me. And I want to give God all the honor and glory and praise. Thank you, Ms. Plunkett. We thoroughly enjoyed your words, and we know that this will be inspirational to everyone in this audience. Oh, thank you so much, and thank you again for this opportunity, and God bless you in everything that you're doing. Thank you.